I'm from Los Altos Hills, California. It's in the Bay Area, 45 minutes south from San Francisco. Cool. Cool. I went to Los Altos High School. Um, I also played basketball. I think I'm probably better at baseball than at basketball. Um, I probably started playing baseball when I was five or six. Neither of my parents grew up playing sports, um, so they didn't really push me in that direction, but I had a really good friend who was uh, really into sports and played a lot of them, and so I would kind of hang around him, and he kind of got me involved. You know, started with t-ball, which was coached by his dad, and uh, I don't know, then I just started to, I really liked baseball, so I stuck with it. The person uh, who was kind of most influential and in who I am as a baseball player is Donnie Katakawa, and he was my coach. Like, I mean, I'm still in touch with him. I met him when he was when I was six. Sorry, um, I, he had like a summer camp that I went to, and then I started playing travel ball for him. And he really taught me how to play the game the right way and play it hard. And he was, could be really intimidating when I was younger, but uh, now we're just you know he's a, he's a great coach and someone I can call a friend now. Um, someone in the pros that I emulate, that's pretty tough. I'm, uh, like I pitch and play a position. There aren't a lot of guys in the, in the pros that do that, so I don't know if I could pick one, but I'm a big Giants fan, so I'd have to say my, my favorite player growing up when I played first base was JT Snow, because he also played first base, so I wore number six because of him, and then more recently Omar Vizquel, just because of how smooth he was in the field. Um, I always admired that. I'm really superstitious, so um, at the beginning of the season I had a blister on like my fourth finger of my left hand just because of, uh, I guess, swinging the bat, and so I started taping it so it wouldn't get worse, and I started playing well, and so I just keep on taping it just for no reason anymore. Um, and then as far as other superstitions go, it kind of varies um, season to season or sometimes game to game if you know something drastic happens. Yeah, the seniors and really everybody on the team is great. Um, coming in from high school, I like I'll be honest, I was a little bit intimidated. I didn't really know what it was going to be like um, just being on the team, being around the guys and baseball wise and um, in addition to helping me um, learn a lot about the game, I think the biggest thing that the seniors especially have done have really made it, made me feel comfortable and made me feel like a part of the team. Um, I think overall our team camaraderie is, you know, it's phenomenal. I, I've never been on a team where everybody's so close. Everybody just really enjoys being around each other. And I think that, you know, it helps us, you know, play for each other and gives us that extra motivation. Uh, our three captains are, I mean, they kind of take control as far as um, just kind of from a leadership standpoint, but it's definitely not like a, I guess it would be an oligopoly. Um, everybody can, everybody, you know, respects each other and kind of what they have to say, and we all, you know, kind of take that to heart. Oh, man, we have a lot of interesting characters on the team. I don't know if I can, I mean, a lot of people are really different in their own ways. Um, I knew coming out of high school and you know from a very early stage in kind of the college selection process that I wanted to be in a warm weathered place and I wanted to be close to home and because of that I you know it kind of narrowed down my options to schools in California which was really helpful um, and then uh, so after that I, I knew I wanted to go to an academic school like that was my first reason uh, for applying to a college and then also that also I really I knew I wanted to play baseball, um, and so because of that, I, I felt like Pomona was a great fit. Um, it's really it's a great academic school, which was my first kind of priority. Or I guess it's in California, so that's first priority. Great academic school. That's number two, and then I knew I would get the chance to play baseball here, um, which was also a pretty big deciding factor when choosing between this and kind of bigger schools. I think I think I want to major in economics, um, uh, and then uh, after college, I know I want to stay in baseball, stay involved with the game. 
um, maybe as like a broadcaster, um, I I grew up watching Giants games, listening to Kruko and Kuiper, and you know that just seems like a great job. They're really entertaining, and I'd like to do that. Or maybe a journalist writing about the team, or or a commentary or something. Something like Rick Riley does. He or Bill Simmons. They're my two my two guys. I don't know. I, I like the way he runs the team. I think he has a good balance of, um, you know, strictness and also, you know, time for fun. And uh, he really keeps like a light mood at practice, but everybody, but keeps everyone trying hard. So I think balance would be a word. Balanced, fun, loving, and then disciplined. I think would be three words to describe describe Coach P. But then our pitching coach for Plank, he's a uh, he's the man. Um, he uh, is not afraid to speak his mind, and I think that really helps uh, players uh, know what they're at, know what they need to get better at, and know what they're doing well also.